Good morning, boys and girls. I'm Diana, your Brits Kids Story presenter, and I'm going to take you on today's Bible adventure. Once upon a time, there was a boy named Andy. Andy had a favourite toy, a cowboy named Woody. I'm sure you all know what comes next. Over the last 25 years, Toy Story has been a favourite of kids, which means many of you are the second generation of kids to enjoy these movies. Some of your mums and dads were some of the frustrated kids at Christmas in 1995 who couldn't get the popular Buzz and Woody toys because as Barbie said in Toy Story 2, toy vendors did not think to order enough of the popular characters. Those of you who are the second generation fans aren't half as excited as your parents about the new movie. Some of your parents probably cried when they saw the movie. In fact, I'm pretty sure some of your parents cried when they saw the trailer. Am I right? Adults in the room, be honest. Who got a lump in their throat when they saw the second trailer and heard the Beach Boys, God Only Knows, while you got your first glimpse of Sheriff Woody's reunion with Bo? Cowboys toys may not be super popular today, but Woody is special. He was Andy's favourite toy before he was Bonnie's favourite toy. He's the toy that every kid cries when they lose. And the one that makes them flip for joy when he is found again. When you saw the movie, I'm sure you saw some adults crying. Those aren't sad tears. There's real joy at being reunited with their favourite on-screen cowboy. Toys and movies about certain toys can bring us real joy, but there's only one thing that can bring us true lasting joy. That's the love of Jesus. Christmas is the time when we celebrate the birth of Jesus, who came to seek and to save what he had lost, namely us. The Christmas story begins with an angel telling a woman named Mary that she will have a son, who she will name Jesus. As soon as Mary received this joyful news, she went to visit her cousin Elizabeth, who was also expecting a child. In a while, we will meet Elizabeth, to hear what happened in that joy-filled moment. Hi, my name is Elizabeth. I am Mary's cousin. I was one of the first people to hear Mary's good news of being pregnant with the baby Jesus. I remember the day like it was yesterday. I was hanging out some washing when Mary burst into my backyard. She was so excited and looked like she was about to explode. As she began to tell me that an angel of the Lord had just visited her and told her that she would have a baby. Just as she told me this news, my own baby kicked and jumped inside my stomach. I was filled with the Holy Spirit and cried out in a loud voice. God blessed you more than any other woman and God has blessed you with the baby which you will give birth to. You are the mother of my Lord and you have come to see me. Why has something so good happened to me? When I heard your voice, the baby inside me jumped with joy. You are blessed because you believed what the Lord said to you would really happen. Yes, there is a 
reason my baby did a flip when Jesus came near. My son would be named John, and he is best remembered as John the Baptist. John was a prophet God sent to prepare the way for Jesus. Even as an infant, my John knew that Jesus was special. The toys we receive at Christmas can bring us joy for a time, but that joy will fade. There's only one thing that can give us true lasting joy, and that's Jesus. When we find the love of Jesus, we will receive a joy that will stay with us forever. This has been me, Diana, your Bricks Kids story presenter. Until next time.